Hey everybody, I'm Tony and welcome to my channel. Anyone who owns an S-Series keyboard likely bought it largely for the light guide feature and it certainly is useful for VST orchestral instruments that have specific note ranges and mapped key switches. But then there are other instruments like pianos that don't need light guide at all. And this is why the user community has been clamoring for years for the ability to turn the NKS light guide off when desired. Some users experience so much discomfort from the lights that they literally resort to taping over them just to give their eyes a break from the default blue glare. Well, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to turn off the lights during your sessions by way of a short contact script. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Grandier Piano plugin, and this is what it looks like after adding the script. You can see there are tabs on the bottom of the plugin interface now. So when I switch to the light guide tab, I have an off and on switch that controls the light guide. But it doesn't stop there because the switch is CC mappable. And since piano plugins don't have modulation or expression controls, you can use either of them to turn the light guide off and on. And of course this also works on the MK1, except that you only have the mod wheel available for controlling the light guide. You'll note on the plugin that the switch is actually controlling the virtual keyboard, and the complete keyboard is just following suit, just as it normally does. And you'll be glad to know that you can change patches freely and the light guide control will keep the same setting. If I switch back to the default complete control view, I still have the same new functionality. And the light guide setting also stays the same if you're changing your patches from within complete control. So let's dive right in. In the video description, you will find a notepad document that you are going to need to copy and paste into contact when the time comes. And so have it opened and ready to go. That's all you need. So let's first take a second to reset the instrument back to normal in case you ever want to do that. So I'm just deleting the script and the script name and after clicking apply, the plugin is back to its original state. Now just close the grandeur and choose save when prompted to make the change permanent. That's it. Now I can go through installing the script for you so you can follow along when you do it yourself. So change complete control to edit view if you haven't already and then click on the wrench at the top left corner of the plugin window. Then click on Script Editor and click on any empty slot. Click Edit to switch to the Script Text Editor and then paste your script into the editor. After clicking Apply, click the wrench again to switch back to the plugin view. You've now added your light guide functionality with mouse only. Test it by clicking Light Guide Switch and then click the turn off and on button. Now we can add the CC control to the off and on switch by right clicking and selecting Learn MIDI CC Number Automation. After clicking Learn, slide the touch strip or the mod wheel to complete the MIDI learning process. Now you can control the light guide without even touching your mouse. Finally, we just close the instrument and save when asked and now you are good to go. In closing, I should mention that you can only add this script to instruments that have a wrench in the top right corner. Many do not, such as the Contact Play series, which includes Ethereal Earth and Analog Dreams. That being said, you can add the script to all of your piano plugins that are NKS supported, as well as many others. So I really do hope that you find this new functionality to your liking. And if you do, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe if you feel like it. 
comments and feedback are welcome and feel free to reach out if you have a content request. Bye for now.